Okay, I'd like to firstly apologize because I'm gonna try and be nice, but I don't think I can. Okay, so my last review I did was Rocket Man, which I absolutely loved. If you haven't seen my review for it yet, check it out. It's linked down below. But we're kind of going to go today on a bit of the opposite end of the spectrum. And I'd just like to first apologize, as I said in my intro, to the people that really enjoyed this movie. Because I thought it was a load of garbage. Don't get me wrong, there were some redeeming qualities, but very small. And so the movie we're talking about today is Godzilla. King of the Monsters. So Godzilla King of the Monsters is the sequel to the 2014 Godzilla remake. It's kind of the third or fourth remake. The one before that was Matthew Broderick, you know the guy from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Uh, that one was okay, but CGI just wasn't up to scratch right now and they couldn't really get away with claymation, which I thought was sick in the original ones. Anyway, I'm digressing. So Godzilla King of the Monsters is a continuation from the original and basically to sum up, Godzilla is meant to be one of the ancient, almost godlike beings from back, back, back in the day the myths, the legends, all the things like that. And turns out he's not the only one out there. There's a whole bunch of them out there. And to me, when I was kind of going into it, I kind of thought it was going to be a little bit like Pacific Rim, where they got the kaijus and they're going to fight the monsters. But in this case, Godzilla's on their side and he's fighting all the bad monsters, I guess. Now that we're up to speed, I'm going to rip into this movie. The trailers look sick, but the characters that they highlight in the trailers, I don't think personally are the characters that we focus on in the movie. That's just the trailers though. The actual movie... I'm trying really hard to not get mad, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pound this out. It was one of those movies where it was, wait, why is he here? Wait, weren't we over there before? Why is it so dark? That's pretty much how I can explain the movie. The plot was weak and everything was just a little bit too convenient. Now I get it, I know what you're saying to me. This is a movie, Jacob. You need to have the conveniences to put the plot together. Yeah, no, that's 100%, you're correct on that, and thank you for pointing that out for me. But this was one of those movies where the whole movie was just conveniences, and it was one of those oh, roll your eyes kind of moments. But let's throw a little bit of good in here. Millie Bobby Brown, she's grown up to be a great actress. She didn't do as much in the film as I thought, but nevertheless, she's grown up to be a great actress. And I'd like to see her in more feature films. My second good thing, the rest of the cast, pretty good. Nothing really stood out. It was another one of those movies where the scientist is not only a scientist, has every single skill known to man. I call this the Vin Diesel effect. Because do you remember in Fast and the Furious where he was a mechanic? And now he slowly, gradually became a special ops agent that we didn't even realize the transition. That's what the Vin Diesel effect is. And that's what a lot of these characters were in the movie. They started off as scientists and then suddenly they can do all this crazy stuff. <sighs> Sorry about that guys, I, I didn't mean to. We're trying to focus on the good here. The CGI. The CGI was impeccable. Really good. Very dark. Very dark. But very good. I've been hearing some people out there that said Godzilla needs to look sexier or Godzilla needs to look cooler. You guys realize he's a lizard. And that's really, and that's really all I can talk about for the good. There was, um, there was... No, nope, I guess that's all I can talk about for the good. Even the fight scenes didn't look that good. It was one of those ones where they run up and then nothing really happens. But the only reason I'm hanging on to this is next year we have Godzilla vs Kong. And I know a lot of people didn't like the movie, but I really love Kong Skull Island. That was that one that took place in the 70s with Tom Hiddleston, Brie Larson, John Goodman, those guys. Yeah, not a lot of people liked it. I really liked it. And for those that are wondering if it connects to those movies, a little bit. I will say though, and this isn't a spoiler, trust me, I was hoping for a Kong post credit scene, but there wasn't. So before I finish up, Jacob, this review is all over the place. It didn't have any structure at all. I literally have no idea what you just talked about. Welcome to the movie. Can I rip your ticket stub? But in all seriousness, there's plenty of movies coming out and there's plenty of movies out at the moment, and it doesn't tie in enough to Kong versus Godzilla where it's worth seeing. Whew, man. I really just need to get this out of me. And to finish up, you guys might actually enjoy this movie. I just really didn't, unless you couldn't tell already. But I guess the reason why is because I really like the 1940s or 30s or the original Godzilla where it's all claymation and everything. I really enjoyed that. And the past three Godzillas that I've seen have just been not that good. And there's just so much potential. And don't get me wrong, I know a lot of people say, why is it so hard to make a good movie? I have a lot of respect for people that make movies. It is a really hard thing to do just to make a movie. But come on guys, we just, there's gotta be something. I don't know the answer to it, but hopefully Kong vs. Godzilla next year is a lot better. All right, so if I haven't scared you guys away after my George Costanza rant, here's what I'm gonna rate it. I'm gonna rate it for my enjoyment. I'm gonna rate it a three, really didn't enjoy it. As for the quality of the film, probably about a four, four and a half. The CGI was amazing, but we're getting to the point now where you just expect CGI to be amazing, but everything else just was a letdown for me. 
All right, so thank you guys so much for watching this review. We're officially now in June. There's a lot of great movies coming out this month. I'm gonna link below, movies coming in June. A Look Forward, which is a little series I do at the end of every month to really package the movies that I'm looking forward to and to remind you guys out there what movies are coming out. If you haven't already, <coughs> smash that subscribe button, turn on notifications, because you're gonna wanna keep up to all the stuff that I'm doing. And just a thought, maybe consider if you wanna see more of me, crazy, right? May I suggest following me on Instagram? Link down below also. Got lots of great stuff that I'm posting up on there. It'll keep you up to date on all the stuff you need to know. And it's got some cool stories about the things that are going on in my life. We've got Dark Phoenix coming out next week, so I'm very excited to post that for you guys. So stay tuned. And as always, work hard and be lucky. Yeah.